everyone, I'm missing you all loads. So today I thought we might do a science experiment together. So for this experiment, you're going to need something called bicarbonate of soda. It's got a very long name, but normally people use it for baking and things like that. So you might have some in your cupboard. Mine looks like this and it's got a very nice picture of a pancake on it, which is looks absolutely yummy. You're also going to need some vinegar. Now, I know lots of grown-ups like to put this on chips, so I hope you've got some in your house. So some vinegar looks like this. This is called malt vinegar. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's brown. And some vinegar looks like this. This, this label says distilled vinegar, but this is also called white vinegar, which is a bit of a silly name because it's not white it's clear but both of these whichever kind you might have in your house will probably work or well, i hope it works anyway and the last thing you're going to need is something to hold it in so you could use a cup if you've got one of those in your house you could use a little glass you could use a big glass like the one I've got my water in at the moment or you could use an empty plastic bottle or even a glass bottle but what I'm going to use today is one of my favourite glasses and that's because it's got a k for Katie on it and it looks like a little reindeer because it's a Christmas glass so I'm going to use that one. And I've also, just in case I make a mess, because you know what I'm like, I've got a tray here to make sure that if I do make a mess, it will be easy to clear up. So the first thing we're going to do is get some of the bicarbonate of soda. I've forgotten a spoon, but maybe you could use a spoon in your house. But instead, I'm going to just pour it straight into my special glass. Now I'm going to pour about three or four teaspoons worth, but you could have a little experiment and see which works better, using more bicarbonate of soda or less. Let me know in the comments below what worked best for you. So I'm going to pour some into my glass like this. Lots and lots. I think it looks like snow. Beautiful. Next is where the science experiment really comes into its own. Now, I can't decide whether to use the malt vinegar or the white vinegar. I think I'm going to use the malt vinegar today, but let me know how, which one you use and how you get on with it as well. So I'm going to pour the lid off. You could also put some food colouring in this. I don't have any in my house but maybe you have some in your house that you could use or glitter or herbs or anything that you can find to make it more exciting let me know what you try so I'm going to pour now this bottle's got a bit of a small top it's a squeezy top so I'm gonna to have to squeeze it really hard and I'm gonna pour it in and I'm gonna see what happens are you ready what do you think's going to happen top I might put a little bit more in oh oh yay I think that looks like a volcano what do you think I'm glad I put the tray underneath because this is making a very big mess I'd love to know if you guys have a go at this it's a very simple thing to do but I think it looks awesome so let me know if you have a go what ingredients you use, see if you change anything, see if that works as well, and what your concoction, your mixture, looks like at the end. And I'm hoping to see you all very, very soon. <laughs>